we're different. The most common claim from any product or any company out there, right? And you're probably asking the same thing. How is Rio Max different? Now, I'm glad you're asking that because it's very important to, to really understand how Rio Max sets itself apart from anything else. So in today's video, I'm going to explain how Rio Max's approach to protein is fundamentally different from anything you've probably seen and help you see and understand how our ranchers are achieving the results that they are. Hey guys, Ashley Kettner with Rio Max. I'm the sixth generation rancher and you know, over the years we have been trying lots of different products, trying to find what can efficiently deliver extra protein, what is going to deliver the results that we want, but still be cost effective on a cost per head per day basis. So today I wanna to talk about two important factors to be looking at, direct fed supplementation and indirect fed supplementation. These are both very important um, supplementation techniques to understand to figure out which one is gonna be the best fit for your operation. Okay, so direct fed supplementation. Direct fed protein is the most common form of getting extra protein or supplemental protein to the herd across the industry. Now what it means is when the company is taking a specific percent and putting it directly in a tub for you to then directly put it out and feed it to the animals. So for an example, let's use a 20% protein tub. The company is specifically putting 20% protein in that tub and then with that consumption rate, they are getting that much protein. No more, no less. Now, what I want you to do is picture a dartboard. That dartboard represents an entire diet of a cow, everything she's gonna eat in a day. Okay, now look at that bullseye. That bullseye is 2% of that dartboard, which the bullseye is representing supplements. So your mineral, your salt, your supplemental protein, supplemental cake, or anything of that nature, that is 2% or less of a cow's diet. So now we go back to that 20% protein tub, you've got a 20% protein supplement that's hitting 2% of her diet, and then that's it. So it, it's kind of almost restricting. Does it work? Yes, it's been a practice that's been used in our industry for a very long time. There's nothing wrong with it. You can get things, um, nutrients met that way, but just in a nutshell, that is what direct fed supplementation is. Okay, so now indirect supplementation or what we call IST. Now, how this is fundamentally different is that when you're talking about direct fed, it's that one specific nutrient that you're directly looking to get more to the animal. But with indirect supplementation and the way it works, you're looking at the entire feed program, her entire diet, and getting more out of it. So when we're referencing the dartboard, we're looking at that dartboard again and saying, okay, what can we do with that 2% supplementation and make her help her utilize the entire dartboard? Not just a little bit that we'd be plopping in the 2% bullseye, but the entire thing. So how are we doing it? Well, we are putting in numerous, numerous different components that are going to help with the fungi and the microbial communities in the rumen. And why that's important is because the fungi, the more there are and the more they're doing, that will help to break down the feed better and faster. Then when we're helping to work with the microbial communities, we're gonna get more of them, get them hyperactive so that they're doing more and they're gonna help to squeeze the nutrients out of that feed that was just broke down by the fungi. Now, as we go further though, the more we're helping those areas work like mother nature intended, literally the more nutrients get squeezed out of every single bite that that cow takes of her entire diet. So you're not restricted to just X percent of protein or X percent of whatever got put in your product, we are talking about expounding and, ex and really utilizing more of everything that you're giving that cow to help her work more efficiently. Now, furthermore to that, 
when we're working with indirect supplementation and we're really focusing in on the microbial count and activities in the rumen, that's only going to help the, the animals get more microbial protein. Now what is that? The microbes will have to die. They repopulate themselves and then they die. When they die, the cattle use that as microbial protein, another additional protein source. But with indirect supplementation technology, when we're helping to get more microbes, more microbes are also gonna be dying, which means there's more sources of that type of protein as well. So, Reamax is fundamentally different because we are using IST. We are using indirect fed supplementation technology. Now I really encourage you to click the link in the description. That's gonna take you to the website, to our science page, where you can learn more about the technology that we're using called Nutrizorb. Now, if you have any questions whatsoever about this, please give us a call because we'd be very happy to walk through it with you and help explain it and definitely happy to help you utilize and optimize your forages more as well. Now, before you go, don't forget to like this video so that we know you found value to it and subscribe so we can see you next time.